Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, in our last video, we covered the basics of uh, video uh, effects and I totally forgot to talk about uh, some other basic ones which uh, would you know, include slowing down, speeding up and reversing um, your video clips. So this will be a supplement to cover that and uh, let's get to it. So just a brief uh, primer on um, slow motion and all of that so i'm adding a video clip here and this is 25 frames per second okay now that is important 25 frames per second because it means that we don't actually have a lot of frames to play with to make sure that if we slow this clip down that the slow motion is going to be smooth you know so if you want to do some really nice slow motion um, video, you really want to be recording in higher frames per second. So 60 frames per second and above. OK, so again, I'm very limited. I'm not really a videographer, so I'm limited with my knowledge. But you'll notice in this example that when we slow this video down, it's going to look not really that smooth. OK, it's not going to have that really like buttery smooth effect that you see. OK. So I'm just playing the clip here. So it's basically just this girl dancing. All right. So to slow it down, we can actually right click on the clip and we can uh, select change speed. OK, so we can change the speed down to, let's say, 60%. Uh, OK, and that will lengthen our video clip okay because it means it's it's being slowed down now is this if this video actually has sound the sound will also get slowed down all right so you'll hear that so let's go ahead and play this so what are, what does it look like so yeah so it's basically just slowed down okay again you don't see that you know smooth like frame by frame you know because we don't have a lot of frames to work with okay so that's what's happening there. OK, so we can restore that back to the original by bringing it back up to 100% speed. And if you'll notice here, it'll shrink back down. OK, so let's speed it up. All right, so we can speed this up. OK, let's say to two times the speed. So that will be 200%. Again, it's up to you to play around with this. And if you'll notice, it'll shorten the clip. And if you have sound, same thing it'll also speed up that sound okay so there you go all right cool so we'll just uh restore that back now if you've uh actually gone through a bit of a tutorials um, you would have noticed that we did a few examples with keyframing so let's say what if you know I want it normal speed and then I want it to slow down when she's like running down maybe okay and then speed back up okay so the way that we would do that is we would actually cut the video and speed those individual clips so let's go ahead and do that example so let's say here I want it normal normal and then right there when she starts running so we'll go ahead and cut that part okay so I'm just gonna cut it right there I'll just play it for a bit here and then maybe right there we'll restore it back to the original okay so I'm gonna make another cut okay I'll just move this here for now so that we've got room to extend this so this is the part that I want slowed down okay so this part this middle part so I'll just separate that out for demonstration purposes so I'm gonna right click on there change the speed I'm gonna slow it down to 60 Okay, and there it extended it out a little bit and I'm going to join that back in. So we'll see that slow down in that bit. Let's play it. There we go. So there, there's a bit of that slow motion. And then come back. Okay. So if you want to do like some of those videos where you drop in with the beat, with the music, you know, with that slow-mo, that's kind of how you do that. Okay. And same thing, say I want to speed it up right here, so I'm going to make a cut, okay, and then I'll speed this bit here. So change that to, we'll make it 300, just 
for demonstration purposes. Okay, so it's back to normal speed and then L speed back. And there you go. So that's kind of how you do it. Now we do have another function here which is a um, reverse. So if you've noticed that, so when we change speed, it says reverse clip. So all that is, it puts the clip backwards to forwards, okay? So if you want to do some trippy stuff, so it's her just going backwards, okay? I know it looks really janky over here, but I think that's just because, you know, again, we're trying to render this on the fly, trying to, you know, preview this on the fly. When you actually render it, it should look a lot smoother. <laughs> So again, uh, just a quick note on the frames per second. So if you want to do nice slow motion videos when you're shooting yourself, shoot in a higher frame per second. And then when you actually bring that into your project, you want to slow it down to 24 or 23 frames per second. So that's what gives you that nice, smooth, you know, slow motion style. Anyway, I could be wrong. If I am, uh, make a comment. <laughs> But that's just my limited experience. Anyway, I will see you next time on another installment of our Canaan Lab series. Till next time, bye bye.